Diadominian, Latin, Marcus Opilius Antoninus Diadominianus Augustus September 1419, 208–218, was briefly Roman Emperor, in 218. He was born to Macrinus, the future emperor, and Nonia Celsa, whose name may be fictitious, on 14 September 208. He was elevated to Caesar in May 217, and after Elagabalus revolted a few days later Diadominian was elevated to co-emperor. After Macrinus was defeated in the Battle of Antioch, on 8 June 218, Diadominian was sent to the court of Artabanus V to ensure his safety, however he was captured and executed along the way, in late June. History Diadominian was born on 14 September 208, named Marcus Opilius Diadominianus, to Macrinus, the Praetorian prefect and future emperor, and his possibly fictitious wife Nonia Celsa. Macrinus declared himself emperor on of April 217, three days after Emperor Caracalla was assassinated. Shortly after, Diadominian was elevated to Caesar at Zeugma, while his guard was escorting him from Antioch to Mesopotamia, to join his father. He was also given the name Antoninus, in honor of the Antonin dynasty, at this time. On 16 May 218 a revolt against him was launched in Emesa by Elagabalus, a relative of Caracalla through his mother, Julia Soemias, who was Caracalla's cousin. In order to put down the revolt, Macrinus led his legions to the Praetorian fort at Apamea. There Macrinus elevated Diadominian to Augustus, making him co-emperor. After Macrinus was defeated by Elagabalus on 8 June 218, at the Battle of Antioch, Macrinus fled north to the Bosporus. Before fleeing he entrusted Diadominian to loyal servants, instructing them to take him into the Parthian Empire, to the court of Artabanus V, to ensure his safety. Diadominian was captured en route in Zugma, and executed in late June. His head was brought to Elagabalus, and reportedly kept as a trophy. Numismatics While Caesar, a large number of coins were struck for Diadominian, although less than the amount struck for his father. Coins in which he is depicted as Augustus are extremely limited, and the only known coins from this time are denarii. This has led to the suggestion, first proposed by ancient numismatist Curtis Clay, that a large issue of coins was being made for Diadominian, however they were quickly melted down when the news of Macrinus's defeat spread. Notably, some eastern provincial coins from the period exist which give Diadominian the title Sebastos, at the time the Greek equivalent of the Roman Augustus. In terms of gold coins, Diadominian has one known style of aureus, bearing his image on the obverse, and displaying spes standing on the reverse, and one known style of half aureus, bearing his image on the obverse, and displaying himself holding a scepter and standard. <laughs> 